When you own software and you use it, the most important action you can take to protect your business is to make a backup of that software. Now, that's all great and everybody always tells you to do so, but a lot of people don't actually do it because it's not easily done in the software. Well, what KCD did was said, look, it's that important. We need to build a feature in the program that does that. So what you first do is you go out to the store and you make sure that you go buy a few of those USB thumb drives. They're called USB flash drives too. Um, and you just buy a couple of them. They're very inexpensive. You then plug the USB flash drive or thumb drive into your USB port. You go to file in KCD and you click on backup or store. You'll notice that you have a choice of backing it up or restoring it. Click on backup. And notice KCD makes it even easier because we include all the things that you would want to back up as far as parts or pricing, textures, unit libraries, custom ones that you might have created, your job files, and all your settings. Everything from doors to handles, moldings, you name it. Now, as a rule, you want to basically keep everything checked initially because you want everything backed up. If something happens to your computer, you want to be able to go to the computer store, buy a new computer, take your backup, install KCD first, and just restore your backup on it, and you're up and running in two seconds. It's not a big thing. Now, if you don't have a backup, every bit of work you've ever done up to that point will be lost, gone, never to be recovered again, and once again, that can be a lot of work, a lot of hours, and you don't want to lose that work. It's that important. So what you want to do is go to backup, backup everything, and you go to browse. Now, when you go to browse, you'll notice that in here, you can pick on different areas. I'm going to go to the PC and notice that I have a removable disk. That's where my thumb drive is. If I click it and click OK, What's going to happen is it's going to make a complete backup of all these files right here. And it's going to have a date on it. And it's going to tell you where it came from. Now, I'm going to cancel here because I've already backed up everything on that thumb drive. So if I go to file now and go to backup or store, let's say I am on a new computer and I want to restore all those things that I had on this one. I just click on backup or store, hit restore. And it warns me because, keep in mind, you don't want to overwrite files that are older. So if it's an old backup, you don't want to restore it on a new computer that's got newer files. It's just warning you that. Now, we're going to hit restore because it's warned you. We understand. And, and we're going to say yes. We're going to browse here. And we're just going to come down to the um, C drive. Oh, excuse me, the removable disk D. And you'll notice there it is right there. And it tells me it was made at 914 today, at, you know, on February 2nd. And if I click it and click open here, now when I hit restore files, it's just going to go through and it's going to restore those files. And it's probably going to warn me again that, you know, you got to make sure that these things are not overwriting something that you don't want it to overwrite. But once again, it's restoring. And I click OK. And it says I may need to restart. I'm going to just say no right now. But the idea is that I just took all my files and restored everything back onto this system. Now, when you're doing 100% of all your files, like parts, list, and pricing, that can take some time. So just be patient. It's okay. Now, with this idea of backing up and restoring, you could also say, well, I just need to transfer my job files. Well, go to file. Go to backup, restore. Backup uncheck all of these other things you don't want to back up right and we don't want the cnc we're just getting rid of not backing all that up we could uncheck all of these things and just leave the job files browse make backup and now i can give somebody else maybe a designer or somebody else all my job files so it's really that easy it's important to do and if you get in the habit of doing it like every week or two weeks where you get to a point where you say, I don't want to lose all this information. It would be disaster if I lost it. Well, that's when you want to make a backup and put it in a separate location so that if you ever did need it, you got it. Otherwise, if you don't do that, 
you'll find yourself in a very bad predicament and there's really not much we can do for you. But at this point, Casey has made it easy, so definitely take advantage of it and uh, use that feature.